Right, we'll take that end. Right, we'll take that end. Right, come on, Jackie. Now, you sure you know what streets are covered? You've told us enough times. Would I be of any help? I've got the bike. Oh, great. Right. Glad to be of help. Come in for a cup of coffee. Thought you'd never ask. McKinley and Campbell, can I help you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, you got the list, Andrew. Hi. Right. Yes, we'll send something in tomorrow, okay? Right, bye. Look, another estimate. It's coming in thick and fast. <laughs> Doesn't mean we'll get the jobs. Ah, but we might, Dad. You've got to think in the positive side. Well, that is right, Andrew. At least when we shout. But we've never done any estimating before. Ah, we pick it up. Well, James's grandfather says you've got to keep them on the low side. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a chance against the competition. If we make them too low, it will be worth going out. Ah, <laughs> well, we better go and get on with it. Hi, hi. Hi, No working, eh? All right for some. Morning, ma'am. Oh, man of pleasure, eh? Aye. Boss is out. <laughs> so you're skiving. What about yourself? Oh, there's nothing much going on at school. Now the hires are finished. Uh, I suppose not. Well, where is everybody then? Oh, Aunt Jess is in bed. And Mum's at the hairdressers. Oh. So poor old Maggie's left to hold the fort, eh? <laughs> Story of my life. I was wondering if you'd like to go to the pictures tonight. Just friendly like. I'm not asking you to marry me. OK, you're on. I haven't been out for ages. I seem to be in this damn shop day and night. The phone never stops. See what I mean? McKinley and Campbell, can I help you? Oh, Mrs Lawson. Uh, hold on a minute, please. It's this woman with four kids in a blocked sink. She can't get her nappies washed. Serves folk right for having children. You against it, then? I will. Speak it personally. Well, she's phoned at least twice before, and I keep forgetting to tell Dad. Well, I can do it. Could you? I mean, just now? Yeah. Mrs Lawson? Yes, we'll send someone in straight away. I'm terribly sorry about the delay, but we've been run off our feet. OK, bye. No problem. I haven't blocked my mother's sinks and drains. Well, we better get some tools. Oh, are you coming with me, then? Jessie's not been at all well this past week. Pain's in her stomach. Sorry to hear that. It's no like her, is it? Just asking about you a minute ago. You know at the shop, Maggie. Doesn't look like it, does it? I've locked up just for half an hour. Mike and I are going out on a call. A blocked sink. Mike and you? Back on, then, is it? What do you mean, back on? It was neither on nor off. Well, you tell her, Mike, that. So how are you, Isabel? Still the mainstay of the building society? She's quite right putting her money away. Wish we'd put our money away when we first get married. What money, Mum? You never had any to spare. <laughs> right there. Change days. <laughs> oh, a brother Michael's getting in. Oh, no, I said it'd only be a second. He knows what I'm like. 
see you soon, Maggie. We could go out one night. The four of us could go to your disco. I'll be in touch. That Edinburgh lad out the picture then, is he? Last night? Nobody told me. Yes, I was at the pictures, but I don't... All right, I was with Mike, if you really must know, but James... I've known him since I could stand. He's like a brother to me. OK, so maybe he doesn't see me quite like his sister, but... Look, you're not going to put me through the third degree like this. This is the very reason I wanted us to have a break from one another. You're far too possessive. You seem to think you own me. Oh, I'm selfish. Oh, if you can't get what you want, then... Well, if you think that, then I don't see why you want to see me at all. So, so how would you like a list of your faults? Arrogant? Ignorant? Yes, I said ignorant. You don't know how the other half of the world lives. And if I want to go out with ten different boys, I will. In fact, right now, I rather fancy the idea. All right, lump it then. What's up with you? I could be doing a couple of weeks on top of being nervous alone. And if that's James Fraser, tell him off the cat man do the Robert Redford. The Kinley and Capo. Oh, you've no eaten anything, Sandy. No hunger. You seen that football guy tonight? Mm-hmm. Well, I think you should finish your apprenticeship, you know. Aye, I do know. Well, help me something to fall back and... Don't worry, I probably will finish it. Hasn't he made me an offer yet? I could be doing with some more tea. Aye, right. Oh, lovely mood everybody's in this morning. Do you know what time I got back last night, madam? Five? Six? Two o'clock, you and your 24-hour service. But, Dad, we need the work. I'd like to see you getting out of your warm bed at one in the morning. I will always be going to school. Oh, you're not going to school today, are you, Maggie? I was thinking of going over to see Jessie. But they're starting to sort out the courses for next year. Oh, surely you don't need to think about that just now. McKinley and Campbell, can I help you? Oh, hello, Uncle Tom. Mum, Aunt Jessie's been taken to hospital with appendicitis. Oh, no. Hello, uh, Where are you? At the Royal. Uh, we'll be over right away. Uh -huh. Now, don't you worry. She'll be OK. Can you take me over, Andrew? All right. All right we'll, we'll, we'll see you in a wee minute. Right. Now, you can't go to school today, Maggie. I think maybe you should stay off too, Jean. After all, it is an emergency. Oh, poor Tammy, I'll be in such a state. Oh, poor Aunt Jessie. Oh, that's a shame. You know, Jean, we should take courses in plumbing. At least I now know how to unblock a sink. Oh, see that phone? You really must show your face at school next week, Maggie. And no nonsense. Oh, well, honest. Oh, it was just with Aunt Jessie. How is she, by the way? Oh, making great progress. The life and the soul of the ward. No, Jessie. <laughs> she never seems to let anything get her down. Maggie, I know it's Saturday evening, but I wonder, would you mind babysitting for us? No, I don't mind. Great. I would quite like to, as a matter of fact. Wanting a race, baby. Oh, you're telling me. Hi, Mr Scott. Hello. Mr Scott. Oh, hello, boys. Oh, congratulations, Sandy. I believe you've uh, had an offer from the club. Uh, it may appear nonchalant, but it's actually over the moon. <laughs> so, you're really going pro? Looks like it, yeah. That's great. How are things with you, Mike? Oh, great. Never been better. That's what I like to hear. Young people today are supposed to be discontented with their lot. Hey, you haven't asked me yet. Katrina, for goodness sake. It's my half day, so I thought I'd come and see you. Oh, are you on your own? Alexander's gone to see his mum. I felt like a champ. Oh, it's great to see you. Come on and sit down. Oh, everything OK with you and Alexander? Still shackled, I see. Do you feel 
Hey, are they all here today, Lassie? No, I'm afraid not. What about your... would you call me your uncle, then? Uh, I suppose your tap's dripping again. Hey, how do you know? I'm psychic. What? No, I'm afraid they're both out at the moment. They're a visiting man in hospital. Oh, I'll tell them when they come back, though. Oh, Christy, you should have 24 hours service and never implicated my phone. So, everything fine? Well, in one way, yes. In another, there's... I forgot to fix a time for this evening, Maggie. Eight, OK? Oh, yeah, that's fine. See you then. Sorry to interrupt. You see, there's a new complication, though. Excuse me, could you know the place is like a madhouse? Okay, Maggie, I'm looking at you. Yes, if you'd like to give me details, please. Uh-huh. Yes, we'll ring you back on Monday and let you know, OK? Right, bye. Don't know how you can stand being at everyone's beck and call all day. Well, you must be two at the hairdressers. Well, how's it going, by the way? Are you enjoying it? It's all right. The trouble is, I get nothing to do but shampoos and sweeping up the old hair. Oh, but you knew it'd be like that, though. I mean, you've got to work your way up just like everybody else. Well, I may not be staying on for... Oh, me. hang on. Fifty pounds, please. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Is there anything wrong, Katrina? Well, it's just that oh, how's Jessie? Oh, she's looking a lot better today. Hello, Katrina. Is she not made you a cup of coffee? Come on upstairs and I'll Thanks make you some. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, I've got some jobs for you. So I see. Can I get no peace even on a Saturday afternoon? Why, well, there was no work you grumbled, and now there is, you're still grumbling. They're all such tuppany hapenny jobs. Oh, the big one will come one of these days, Dad. Just wait and see. Aye. Oh, are you going? I must. I want to catch the five train. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't see more of you, Katrina, after you coming all this way. It's all right. You couldn't help it. Oh, another time. I had a long talk with your mother. Oh, I hope she didn't bore you, Richard. Oh, should she? Well, I just thought you might not have a lot in common. We had a great deal to talk about. I found her very sympathetic and understanding. Far more understanding than my own mother. She can't realise there are other ways to live than hers. Oh, well, we all have our blind spots. Spots? Are you sure you don't want another cup of tea or coffee before you go? No, I'm swimming as it is. I have to go or I'll miss that train. No message for James? None that I can think of. He's as ratty as anything at the moment. Must be his A levels. No, I don't think it is. What a nice lassie. Oh, you two seem to hit it off together. Oh, we're going great. She was just needing somebody to talk to. Seems she can't talk to her own mother. Oh, well, the trouble is, Mrs. Fraser doesn't want her to marry Alexander. Oh, well, she'll just need to get used to the idea. What? Oh, you think she's definitely going to marry him? Naturally, we're at the end on the way. She's pregnant. Well, did she not tell you? Oh, she didn't get the chance. So that's why she came. Oh, poor Katrina. I don't know why you should say that. It's not the end of the world. Folk are more tolerant nowadays. Glad to be able to tell you that. Oh, it's not what other folk are going to say that bothers me. So I thought Katrina is 17. Ty to Alexander with a baby come. She's looking forward to it, and why no? A natural thing for a woman to want. Yes, Mother, I know you think I'm unnatural. Oh, well, you'll change your mind one of these days. Just don't leave it too long. Nah, I'll be drawing my pension next week. What are you up to, anyway? What do you mean? With James and Mike. <sighs> You're not two-timing, are you? Oh, Mum, two-timing. I'm not leading either of them up the garden path. They may be trying to get there by themselves, but it's not my lookout, is it? I didn't think you could be so hard. Just call me nails for short. So which one would you have for me, Mum? Well... Oh, Mike's an awful nice lad. Part of the family. James is different. He's got... style. Oh, they're both nice in their own way. So there you are. Right, well, I can understand you've been torn. But I'm not. I just like them each in their different ways, and that's all there is to it. Might be the end of James, though. Hasn't phoned for a week. Hello? 
Yes, this is McKinley and Campbell. A blocked sink. Oh, can it wait till morning? Yeah, I know we run a 24 hour service, but it's for emergencies. Floods, acts of God, and things like that. Okay, I'll be round in a minute. Yes, I said I'll be round. It's all right, officer, I'm breaking out, no end. You're the plumber's daughter, are you? Guilty, Your Honour. And where are you off to this time of night? Emergency call. I see. We're on a 24 hour service. Are you a real plumber? No, I'm a con woman after your jewels. Women's lib has come a long way, you know. Don't you like women plumbers, then? I usually have Mr McKinley. Oh, he was otherwise engaged. He's a lovely man. Oh, damn. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I mean, I wouldn't you like... I've flooded out of the floor. No, neither would that. So just keep your fingers crossed in both hands. Uh, well, this seems to be causing all the trouble. Oh, how did that get in there? You'd never believe it. So, you're a real plumber after all. Do you want to certify me? Listen, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, I'll need to be going. I'll never get up in the morning. Just a quick cup. It'll set you up for your cycle, Hame. And then we can have a wee blade. Oh, all right. Only next time, try not to call after midnight, eh? Oh, I'm awful sorry about that. It's just... I know. Why don't you ring him? Who? Come off it. Oh, he can stew. Seems to be what you're doing. Rubbish, I'm just tired. Yeah. I didn't get to bed till four o'clock last night. McKinley and Campbell. Yes, if you'd just like to give me your address, please. Hello, oh, Aunt Chelsea. Hello. Oh, you're yes. <laughs> Oh, thanks very much. A wee bit of the old thing helps, though, you know. Hey, you've had your hair done as well. Hi. <laughs> Cox is orange. That's about time. <laughs> Anything in the post today? Oh, I haven't had a chance to open it yet. Well, maybe you should. Somebody might have left us a fortune. Aye. <laughs> Tenth cousin twice removed leaves a dunghill up the glen. It's about the size of it. Oh, Maggie, have you got your highest results yet? Oh, not for another month or so. I'll be far away by then, up in the glen. Oh, how is your mother, Andrew? Yeah, not too bad. Maggie had a letter the other day. Yeah, Maggie's the only one that writes to her. Maggie's the only one that does anything. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> you always been a rotten shot. Aye, it's called the picking teams. I was left on last. Anything interesting? Telephone bill. £110, 26 pence. Over £100 for a telephone bill. That's all those calls you make to Edinburgh. I don't make any, do I, Jean? Is that no tea? Not for the last couple of weeks, anyway. £110. Oh, see if you can find something cheerier in there, Maggie. Uh, another bill. Yeah. It's about time we heard about that hotel job. Isn't it? Oh, we're obviously not going to hear. It'll be like all the rest. I told you to keep your price down. And I told all you. Right, that... All right, all right. Just a clan gathering. Oh. Can you not see me, my boy? <laughs> how could you miss it? <laughs> Hi, Aunt Jessie. How are you? Oh, not so bad. Do you want to see my scar? <laughs> Dad, <laughs> Uncle Tam, you've got the job. What? What the hell, job? What? She's right, Tam. I have oh, got it. That's a big job. Oh, she's got her head screwed on that Aye, one. Aye, back to the front. <laughs> it says we can start when we like. Oh, fantastic. That'll really set us off. I tried not to come. I know. I tried hard not to want you to come. But you didn't cave in. I'm stubborn. Like you said, thrown. And am I arrogant? A bit. Sometimes. Not often. When I lose my temper, I always exaggerate. Everybody does, I suppose. Are you really pleased to see me? I was beginning to think you might not come back. You'd have minded then. Looks like it. But James... Yes? Just don't try to tie any strings on me, OK? 
Okay, I promise. It's a good job we're not in the gardens in front of your house. Your mother. Oh, let's forget my mother. Let's forget everything. It's fly to the moon. <laughs> what if sinks and drains get blocked and we taps it? No, I dream about drains. Has Katrina told her mother a new ship? No, not yet. She's waiting for a suitable moment. <laughs> that should be interesting. Poor Katrina. Oh, she's quite happy. Mind you, I can't help wondering if Alexander might not back out. He could get cold feet. <laughs> Especially when faced by mother. Okay, I'm Oh, there you are, you two. Oh, I was beginning to think you weren't coming in. Do you? Uh, I don't need food, do you? Uh, just oh. watch me. <laughs> Never known anything put Maggie off her food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Sonny, congratulations. Oh, thanks. I haven't quite taken it in yet. <laughs> oh, you will, son, you will. Oh, it's awful nice to have you back amongst us, James. Uh, it's nice to be back. Oh. Oh, both of a glass of wine, Andrew. <laughs> Why are we celebrating this time? The job, of course. <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter, fine. <laughs> well, you can tell them we're ready to start. Right away. Yeah, but not tonight. Well, cheers, everybody. Oh, cheers. <laughs> well, here's the riches. <laughs> So good.